happen. The desert locust plague is one of the most dangerous and destructive plagues. Under favorable environmental conditions, a few solitary individuals can dramatically multiply and migrate enormous distances. Large swarms can be the size of Bamako, the capital of Mali, and consume the same amount of food in one day as 8.5 million people, which is half the country. Desert locust plagues can affect up to 20% of the Earth's land surface. One of the core mandates of the organization is to monitor the uh, desert locust situation on a global scale. We monitor the weather, the ecological conditions, and the locust situation in about 50 different countries. We use uh, several different methods. The most important method are the uh, ground teams. These are the teams in each of the countries. These teams are uh, looking in the desert in four-wheel drive vehicles for any green vegetation that might appear after the rainfall and if there's any locusts in that green vegetation. If they find locusts, then of course they report all of this information to us here, but they will also do the control operations. Current methodologies are expensive, unsafe to the environment, and they are not the most effective way to combat locust plagues. We want to make this a bit more efficient. So the idea is to incorporate drones to help the teams find those areas in the desert where it may be green. A fleet of high technology drones will be equipped with HD visual sensors, thermal cameras and control systems in order to find, analyze and spray the locusts. This system will first use satellites to detect areas where it might have rained. A separate long-range drone finds any green vegetation. Afterwards, a multi-rotor drone identifies the locusts, while another one sprays the infestations. The current techniques are slow and cannot cover all the potentially affected areas. Instead, drones identify them quickly and precisely. The use of new technology is required to prevent these plagues. It's an amazing time because teams from each country that they're fighting against desert locusts on the field, they will have to fly with the drone, they will have to acquire information, and then process this information on the field without internet connection. So the challenge is clear. We'll have to provide them a solution to process all this information. And this would be very desirable because it would take the danger of using pesticides out of the human hands and into the drone. So this would be much safer for the applicators and the people involved in control operations. We hope that it would, the use of drones would make the monitoring of the locust, which is so important for early warning, to be much more efficient and much more effective. With this system, we hope to increase the efficiency, precision and effectiveness of locust detection and control, while at the same time protecting agriculture the environment and people's livelihoods. Thanks to this method, there'll be more food for the world's population.